in order to test the http apis or the controller endpoints in intellij idea community edition we can use certain plugins i'm going to discuss two such plugins in this particular lesson one of them is a restful tool and another is cool request in my editor right now if i go to plugins section if i go to settings first and then select plugins i have already installed this tool cool request and restful tool in your case you need to go to marketplace search with their name then those entries would appear here and you need to click on install in case of restful tool it would be installed and in case of cool request after you install it one restart of the id would be required now why i am discussing this two plugins cool request and restful tool one of them i could have used right the reason being Although RESTful tool has higher number of downloads and relatively higher rating, it is not currently working with the latest version of IntelliJ IDEA. Little bit earlier version it is working, but with the latest one, I notice it is not working. It might be fixed, but just to be on the safer side so that you don't face any problem, I am discussing both of those. And right now, as with the latest version of IntelliJ IDEA, cool request is working. I am using that only. You never know, maybe in future, this RESTful tool also may get fixed. But one disclaimer over here, as both of them are not maintained by JetBrains, but it is by some other third parties, there could be issues in future. But at this point of time, cool request is working with all the versions of IntelliJ IDEA as of October 2024. RESTful tool also, with little bit earlier version of IntelliJ IDEA, it is working fine. But with the latest one, it is not working. Anyways, let's see how to use them. I am going to use two IDs, two versions of IntelliJ ID just to show how it works. If I go to this help and about, this is the latest version which I am using 2024 2.3. And if I go to relatively older version, this is the one 2024 1.2. It was on May and the latest one was built on September. So in case you have installed any of the plugins or both of them, on the right hand side, you can see the icons. Let me first show you RESTful tool. It is working on this particular version, which is till 1.2. For RESTful tool, this is the icon you can see. And for cool request, this is the icon. In case if these icons do not show over here, we can go to our tool window, like view. Under tool windows, we would be able to see cool request and RESTful tool. We can click and then this icons would be appearing over here. I have the sample application. Let me run it first. Now this application is started over here. If I go to this RESTful tool, it is showing find four APIs. This is the application under the project. It is showing this package com.example.springboot tutorial. And if expanded, two classes it is showing under this Spring Boot tutorial application class. This particular mapping is there. And under demo controller, I have three. If I select any of them, let me minimize this a little bit and click on this particular icon. It's a send button. Here we have the display option. We, we can change the display type of the response body. Let me send a value over here. This is the response. Similarly, for add, which is kind of a post here, I can mention some value. Let me send it. Maybe I did something wrong over here. That is why it is giving me some error. Anyways, let me try another API. This one, list. I'm not sending anything over here. Clicking on this. So it is giving me, I can see two objects. So this is how we can use this RESTful tool. But the problem with this RESTful tool is, this is 2024 1.2. If I go to the latest version, which is this one, if I go to RESTful tool, I cannot see anything. If I click on refresh also, we can notice at the bottom one error message, ID error occurred. This is specifically to this RESTful tool, what I have observed in the latest version of IntelliJ IDEA. This is the latest version, that is 2.3. That is why we can park RESTful tool for the time being and we can focus on cool request, the other plugin. Now, if I close this RESTful tool, and focus on this cool request here i have nine apis okay it has detected some other part also anyways we can focus on spring boot tutorial out of this here i have three and i have this one so 
based on this application, I have this one. And as you can see, once I clicked over here, the source class is open. If I click on this, similarly, the other class is open. I think this is an additional feature. And another important thing over here is whenever you open the controller on the left hand side, you see this particular icon, send a request by clicking on cool request. All the mappings, they are identified by cool request once this plugin is installed. And you can go both ways from source, you can go to the request from the high level view of the request. If I go here, from here also, you can go back to the source. I think feature wise, it is a lot better. Now, let me try to invoke this particular request. I don't know whether this will work or not. If I double click on this, let me add some value. Now, here also, feature wise or user friendliness wise, you can see the UI is a lot better. It is taking the fields from you. And let me send the request over here. It is working. Added new customer to repository. So, as I invoked the add in point and added one customer to the existing table, the list operation should give me three records now. As earlier, it was returning two. It should be one more in this case. If I go back here, I can see all the requests. If I double click on list, this is the URL, this is get, I can click. Now it is showing me this records. What is the status? What is the time taken? What is the size? And from here, I can save it also. I can save the JSON. So this is all about pull request. And this plugin I have checked in the latest version also works as expected. Now, one thing I want to show you over here, whatever I'm doing, this is I'm doing using the new UI of Community Edition. What if you want to use the old UI? Let me navigate back to the old UI. I'm clicking on this, switch to the classic UI. Let's wait for a while. After we start, when the ID is up, I'll show you how to use both of these plugins. Now, my editor has opened using the classic UI or the old UI. You can see on the right hand side, I have this restful tool. And this is the cool request, right? In case it is missing, you can go to view tool windows and from here you can find this plugin view either cool request or restful tool feature wise it works the same way if you click on this particular pane display is a little bit different but same way you can open the mappings as it is showing the four apis i can open any one of them i'm going to execute this find and sending one value of one or maybe two execute right now the application is not running let me run it first i forgot to run it let me run the application once and see how both of them work now the application is started let me click on restful tool first four apis i am going to select one of them maybe this list if i select and if i press this button i have the response similarly i can click on pull request I can see nine APIs. If I click on controller, I have this particular application. Open this demo controller, select this list. If I double click, press this button. If I minimize, I can see the response over here. So in my personal opinion, I think pull request is more user friendly compared to restful util. You will only find out when you use both of them. So overall, we have seen using IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition, how we can send requests to different REST endpoints within Spring Boot application. I mean, it is not limited to Spring Boot. It could be any REST-based application while we are developing within IntelliJ IDEA.